Hey everybody, so in this video, what we're talking about is box and whisker plots and specifically how we're going to read and interpret a box and whisker plot. So here we have a box and whisker plot that is discussing and illustrating test scores from a given class. So they give us these questions. What is the median score? What percent of the students scored between 70 and 85? And how many students scored between 45 and 85? Okay, well, before we jump into those, let's talk about these characteristics of a box plot. So th they are created with the five number summary. So you have your minimum here, then you have your first quartile that makes this left side of the box. And then we have the median, which is always going to be this vertical line that's drawn somewhere in the box. Here, this other or the right side edge of the box is your third quartile and then you have your maximum. So this is the five number summary. Now what's great about this is this will always cut your data into 25% sections. So before we talk about that, it says what is the median score? Okay, so here our median score is going to be 80. Here they say, what percent of the students scored between 70 and 85%? So this is back to what we just mentioned. Each section here is 25%. So if I want to know between 70 and 85, here's 70, here's 85, this is 50%. Now the box is always going to be 50% of your data. How many students scored between 45 and 85? Well, that would be here, 45, and then 85. So that would be 75% of the data. So we really like box and whisker plots when we're talking about data analysis because it's always cutting our data into fourths, right? Hence the quartile, quarter, meaning four. So reading box and whisker plots is something that's very easy to do. They're always going to be sectioned into fourths, and then interpreting the data is always going to be just as simple as adding up our percentages. All right, let's take a look at another example. So here in this example, we have that Mr. Phillips gave a test to 32 of his math students. He felt the results were low, so he retested them one week later. The results of the original and the retake are shown below. So here we have these two box and whisker plots. So our first question is, what's the difference in the median grade? Okay, well, let's take a look at this. The median is always going to be that vertical line that comes down in the middle of the box. So with the original test, they had a median of 60. While the median on the retest, so here we'll say that retest had a median of 80. So the difference between the two would just be 20. Now that's huge in data, especially as a teacher. Here, if 50% got a 60 or higher, and now right here, 50% got an 80 or higher, that's a drastic improvement. So we can really tell that the students really needed to retest on this. Okay, compare the percent of students who got at least a 60 on the original test to those that got at least a 60 on the retake. Okay, so on the original test here, this is 60. All right, now remember that these are divided into 25% increments. So from here moving forward, that's 50% that got a 60 or higher. But if you look at the retest, 100% all the data got a at least a 60. So we could say that. We could say that 50% scored 60 or higher on the original but 100% did so on the retest. All right, running out of room here, so we'll abbreviate. But that's what happened. So here, my median is at 60. 50% got a at least a 60 on the original, but everyone, the entire class, got at least a 60 on the retest. All right, so we showed a lot of improvement here. If students need a 65 in order to pass the test, how many more pass the retake? Now, here's a tricky question with box and whisker plots. They're asking how many more people 
passed. They're not asking about a percentage of people that passed. So here we know that box and whisker plots are in percentages, but we're going to have to make these numbers. Okay, so let's think about this. You need a 65 in order to pass the test. How many more pass the retake? Okay, well first we need to figure out how many pass the original test. So here, we'll do it in this color, 65 to 80, this is 25% of the data. Okay, so there are 32 students in the class, only 25% pass the first time. So here, if I multiply this by 0.25, I'm going to get eight. So only eight students pass the original test. But here, there's 65, so we have 25, 25, and 25, so it looks like 75% pass the retest. So here we're gonna say 32 times 0.75, and that's going to give us 24. Now, we need the difference between these numbers because they want to know how many more pass the retest. Okay, so 24 minus 8, that is going to be 16. So there were 16 more students who passed. All right, and this is how we could compare two different box and whisker plots. All right, that's going to be all for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and we'll see you all in the next video.